Body impacts. Body impacts and concussion. What is your point of view? So concussion is due to acceleration of the brain within the skull. You can have a concussion from a hit to the head because obviously the easiest way to have a significant acceleration of the head is to be hit directly in the head. But if you get hit in the body with enough force, your head is going to whip back and forth and that, that acceleration or deceleration is going to transmit up to the head. And if there is enough force transmitted up to the head, you can get a concussion. So concussions can happen with body impacts and you'll see this often in sports like football, rugby, hockey where the person will actually get hit in the body and they'll get up off balance and they'll be diagnosed with a concussion and so it's it's almost kind of this whiplash type mechanism that moves the brain inside the skull and creates the same injury, same pathophysiology, same process as if you were hit directly in the head. I, I've known of people that have slipped and fallen and landed on their butt and the force translates up and they, they get knocked out unconscious. Or they fall on their knees on a hard surface and get knocked out unconscious. So you don't have to be hit in the head to cause a concussion. So body impacts can also cause concussion. So the kind of rule of thumb here for people, and I know this is one of those things that coaches um, of sports will still think, well, you didn't even get hit in the head. You don't have a concussion. That's actually not the case. The rule of thumb is if you get hit anywhere in the body and there's enough, it's a, it's a, a significant impact and you start experiencing any one of the concussion-like symptoms, headache, dizziness, confusion, nauseousness, etc., that is grounds to be very suspicious of a concussion injury.